Hi guys, Deanne here from Canada Abroad and thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be discussing one of the hottest topics related to Canadian immigration at the moment and that is provincial nominations. So a lot of people at the moment are definitely looking at trying to get a provincial number, sorry, a provincial nomination. Number one, because it adds 600 points to their comprehensive ranking system score. The other reason it's become so popular is since Canada basically started closing its borders for the pandemic, the express entry draws have been restricted mostly to people who have a provincial nomination or meet the requirements of the Canadian experience class. We've only seen one draw that also included federal skilled workers and federal skilled tradespeople. So a lot of people who are desperate to get going and want to get their permanent residency now are trying to get provincial nominations in order to speed up the process because the hope is if they get that provincial nomination, they obviously will have enough points to get that invitation to apply. And because they would be a provincial nominee, they would be eligible to get that invitation to apply right now. So there's quite a few different provinces and territories in Canada, but the way we need to look at it is unless you have a job offer, there's only a limited amount of provinces that would even consider you for a provincial nomination. So if you are in that situation that you don't have a job offer, then the only provinces that could possibly consider you, and there will be certain restrictions with these, would be Saskatchewan, Alberta, Manitoba, Ontario, Prince Edward Island, and Nova Scotia. Now, each of those has its own way of picking people. So whether that is based on your occupation code, a connection you might have to the province, like friends or family members, it might be also based on your comprehensive ranking system score. So each of them is completely different in the way that they select people. Now, don't forget to subscribe to our channel because over the next week and a half, we are gonna be releasing a video which details each of these provinces programs. Now, we're gonna go through how you would be picked, what criteria is implemented, so that you know exactly how you could be eligible to be considered by one of these provinces for a provincial nomination. Now, if you happen to have a job offer from a Canadian employer and you're hoping to use that for a provincial nomination in provinces like British Columbia, uh, Newfoundland, New Brunswick, those are going to be dependent on a few things. So with the provincial programs, some of them, like British Columbia, they have their own points system. So even if you had that job offer, depending, number one, on your job title, where the job is located, what your salary would be, your work experience in a related field, your language test results, your educational level, you get assigned a score based on BC's own scoring system. And they then do their own invitations to apply to people with a high enough score. So just having the job offer doesn't necessarily guarantee that you will have a high enough score to be selected. So we are gonna be going through all of those provinces as well and reviewing what scores you need and how they score you so that you can get a very good idea of if you would be eligible or not. The other thing to consider with a lot of these programs is the employer themselves have to meet certain requirements. So this might be how many years they've been operating in the province for, how many employees they have based on their location, what their annual turnover is, and if they don't meet those requirements, then the job offer is not gonna make you eligible for one of these provincial programs. So each province has various programs available. They have quite in-depth uh, requirements and things that you need to take into consideration. So as I mentioned, don't forget to subscribe because over the next week and a half, we're gonna be releasing a video for each province and territory so that you can find out exactly what is required and what your chances are of getting one of those provincial nominations. And the first province that we are gonna be starting with tomorrow is Ontario. And Ontario at the moment is the number one destination of new immigrants. So it's definitely one that you're going to want to check out. So thanks for tuning in and we'll see you tomorrow.